जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारे जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारे गोपी जन बला गिरीवर धारे जय गोपी जन भला गिरीवर धारे यशोदनंदना ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदनंदना ब्रज जन रंजन यमुना तीर बन चारे यमुना तीर बन चे जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारे गोपी जन बला गिरी भर धारे यशो दन दन गज जन रंजना यशोदनंदन प्रज जन रंजना यमुना तेरा वन चारे यमुना तेरा वन चारे जय राधा माधव राध माधव श्री राधे जय राधा गोपीनाथ राध गोपीनाथ श्री राधे जय राधा पट सठी राध पट सठी श्री राधे जय ललित विशक ललित विशक ललित विशक जय ललित विशक जय जय प्रभु पास प्रभु पास प्रभु पास जय प्रभु पा ओम विश्वपाद ब्रह्म सा परिब्राज के चरे अस्तो तरह जी श्रीमद हिस्स दिवाइन ग्रेस शरणारविंद भक्ति वेदांत स्वयं हरा शिल प्रापद की जय जय नित्या लीला प्रविष्ट ओं विष्णुपाद ब्रह्मसा परिब्राज गचरे अस्तोत्र भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती ठकुर गोस्वामी महाराज शिल प्रापाद की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव की जय जय श्री रूप श्री सनातन बत रघुनाथ श्री जीव गोपाल भात दास रघुनाथ सद गोस्वामी प्रभु की जय नाम चाय श्री हरिदस ठाकुर की जय 
वे में से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य पबुनित चनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवास अधिघोर भक्त बिंद की जाय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपी न श्याम कुंद राधा कुंद जीरी गोवर्धन की जाय श्री ब्रज भूमि वृंदावन धाम की जाय मथुर धाम की जाय श्री नवदीप मायपुर धाम की जाय गंग माय की जाय यामुन माय की जाय तुलसी देव की जाय भक्ति देव की जाय श्री हरि नाम संकीर्तन की जाय संकीर्तन यज्ञ की जाय शिल प्रापद ट्रांसनल बुक्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन की जाय साम बेर भक्त बिंद की जय निथाय गो प्रेमानंदे ऑल ग्लोरीस टू द सिंबल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरीस टू द सिंबल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरीस टू द सिंबल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरीस ऑल ग्लोरीस ऑल ग्लोरीस टू सी सी गुरु एंड श्री गो रंगा गिव दिस टू Maung Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Simate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Itinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesa Sunyavadi पश्चतारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंदवैत गदाधर शिवासदि गौरभक्त बिंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय We continue reading from the Shrimad Bhagavatam, Canto 4, Chapter 28, Text 19. Puranjana becomes a woman in the next life. Namai Anasiti Bhunte Nasnati Shnati Matpara Mai Ruste Susantrashta Bart Site Yatavag Baya Namai Anise Te Bunte Nasnate Snati Matpara Bhart Siti Yata Bhagbhayat No, sorry. Mai Ruste Susantrasta Bhart Siti Yata Bhagbhayat Namai Anasiti Bhunte Nasnati Snati Matpara Mai Ruste Susantrasta Bhart Siti Yata Vagbhayat Maya Siti Bhunte Masnati Snati Matpara Mai Ruste Susantrasta Yatiste Yatabag Bhayat Mai Ruste Susantrasta Mai Ruste Susantrasta 
Nasnates na timat para. May roste sa tantrasta. Bart si te yatabag bayat. Maya yata si te bungte. Nasas te mas parat para. Jesus te sa tantrasta. Maya si te bungte. Nas na te sna ti mat para. May roste sa tantrasta. Yata ba 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 ya. Higher than that. Matajis. Mama ina si te bungte. Nas na te sna ti mat para. May roste sa tantrasta. Bart si te yatabag bayat. Namayani si te bungte. Nas na te mas barat para. May roste sa tantrasta. Bart si te yatabag bayat. Word for word meaning. Na, never. Mayi, when I, anashite, had not eaten, bungte, she would eat. Na, never. Ashnate, had not taken bath. Shnati, she would take her bath. Matpara, Always devoted to me. Mayi, when I, Ruste, was angry. Susantrasta, very much frightened. Bart's site, when I chastised, Yatavak, fully controlled of words. Mbayat, out of fear. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. King Puranjana then began to think of his past dealings with his wife. He recalled that his wife would not take her dinner until he had finished his, that she would not take her bath until he had finished his, and that she was always very much attached to him, so much so that if he would sometimes become angry and chastise her, she would simply remain silent and tolerate his misbehavior. Or poet. A wife is always supposed to be submissive to her husband. Submission, mild behavior, and subservience are qualities in a wife which make a husband very thoughtful of her. For family life, it is very good for a husband to be attached to his wife. But it is not very good for a spiritual advancement. Achincha Veda Veda Tattva. Thus, Krishna consciousness must be established in every home. If a husband and wife are very much attached to one another in Krishna consciousness, they will be both benefit because Krishna is the center of their existence. Otherwise, 
If the husband is too much attached to his wife, he becomes a woman in his next life. The woman, being overly attached to her husband, becomes a man in his next life or her next life. Of course, it is an advantage for a woman to become a man, but it is not at all advantageous for the man to become a woman. Thus ends the Bhaktivedanta Purport, the Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 4, Chapter 28, Text 19, Puranjana becomes a woman in the next life. Amagyananti mirandasya gyanangyana salakaya Chaksurun vilitam jena tasmai shi gurave namaha Sri Chaitanya Manobhistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Karamayam Dati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Juta Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shcha Shri Rupam Sagrajatan Sahagana Raghunatan Bitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sadvadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Sri Visakam Bitam Sha E Krishna Karuna Sindho Dinabandho Jagatpate Gopesa Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostate Tapta Kanchana Gauranghi Radhe Vrindavanispare Visabhano Sute Devi Pramami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpata Rubyascha Kipa Sinduvya Evacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaisnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar, Sri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Binda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Namai Anasite Bhungte Nasnati Snati Matpura Mai Roste Susantrasta Bartsite Yatabag Bhayat So King Puranjana is expressing his or remembering yes, he's remembering his past dealings with his wife Actually, this is an allegory. King Puranjana actually is us. Hmm? And the wife is the body. And this is the tendency of the conditioned soul to be attached to the body, to identify with the body as the self. So, and this is our predicament in the material world. As long as we are attached to this body, which is temporary, not understanding our real nature, as Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Gopi Bhartu Padakamalayur Dasa 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 Anudasa, that we're all eternal servants of the Supreme Lord, then we'll take up another form of body depending on what we are thinking at the time of death. Unfortunately, this knowledge is not known to the general populace and that's why they continue to suffer repeated birth and death again and again. For those who are fortunate giving the privilege 
to us like somehow we're not devotees yet. We are just practicing devotees. We're just trying to become devotees here. Because becoming a devotee means no more material desires, no more identification with the body, and understanding his real nature, only to serve Guru and Krishna and Vaishnavas. 5,000 years ago, there was this one blind king named King Dhritarashtra who is so much attached to his family members, so much attached to his position, so much attached to luxury. He doesn't want to give it up even in the old age. But somehow, fortunate enough, there is this Vidura who, as a sadhu, his main duty is to cut the attachment of the conditioned souls from the material entanglement. Not just cutting, but also giving what is the highest, Krishna. So Prabhupada was saying that 5,000 years ago, there is this one Dhritarashtra who is attached to his family. But nowadays, there is one Dhritarashtra in every household homes, in householders. Every homes, there is a Dhritarashtra. The greatest bandage in the material world is family attachment. Of course, the brahmacharis, they don't have that experience yet. If somehow they will go into the next ashram, the Grihastha ashram, then they will find it also. Mm. Some brahmacharis, they're thinking, oh, Grihastha life looks very nice. But then the Grihasthas were thinking, oh, I wish I was a brahmachari. <laughs> it's the other way around. You know, there is this one suite here in, in Delhi, Prabhupada was saying, where is that? Yeah, this very special ladu, that if you taste this ladu, you, you, you'll forget everything. Like this, this ladu is so nice, so sweet. But then, after tasting this ladu, you want to taste it again. But that you cannot taste it because you are not able to, because... It's in demand, you know. Everyone will go, and by the time you reach there, it'll be finished. It'll gone. It's gone. So you're, you're enjoying when you eat, but then after eating, you're lamenting also that you cannot taste it anymore. A grihasta life is like this. It is a responsible ashram. Actually, they have these facilities for sense enjoyment, but then they become bewildered. Oh, it says in the Sastras, we have license to have some sense enjoyment. But then they become bewildered and they become intoxicated and they forgot. Because grihasta means you have to also be responsible. Rihasta life means a life where you have to learn how to become detached. Chanakya Pandit was saying, attachment leads to distress and detachment leads to happiness. Ashakti. Ashakti means attachment. And it's natural to be having some kind of attachment. That is the nature of the soul. Otherwise, we're like robots. Dead matter. Spirit soul, this is their nature, to desire, to be attached. But then if we become attached in the wrong direction, 
it will be the cause of our destruction. That means we're killing the soul. The Bhagavatam, Pashugnat, 10th canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam says, there is what you call killer of the soul. Killer of the soul means if you don't realize the purpose of human form of life, then you miss, you miss, and then one will take up another form in 8,400,000 species of life according to one's desires. As there are many species of life, 8,400,000 species, then are there, there are as many desires that one can have that one can only accomplish or fulfill that desire in that specific species of life. Krishna provides everything. So Grihastha life means they should be also regulated. Because the attachment, especially to the few first, the boy meets the girl, then they become attached to other to each other, then they get married, and after getting married, um, they want to have a big house, hmm? and then they want to have children, then, not just like that, when the, their children begets children also. When you start to have grandchildren, that is the main attachment. That is like, seriously, you're, you, I, I met so many devotees in Brindavan. I asked them, Prabhu, how old are you? I'm 81. So where do you live? Oh, I live in Australia. I live in America. Prabhuji, this is the place. This is the place you have to retire now. So why? Well, you know, my grandchildren, I, I cannot live, you know. Prabhuji, even if you're not alive, they will still survive. It doesn't depend on you whether they will live or not. The parents cannot save their children from death. You can give them the best facilities, the best of everything, but at the time of that, this is the problem. This is the whole crux. The pain can be only be felt when one is so attached to the family at the time of death. You don't want to part. You don't want to part with them. It's highly impossible to part with them. Especially, you know, if the parents are attached to their children and they see their children die first. That is very painful. You don't want to see that. If you're a parent, to so see your children die before you. Especially to the mother. Hmm. Mother is the one who's more attached, so to speak, because the children stayed longer with the mother. So, the husband is the, supposed to be, he is the master of the family is the um, master, that means he is the one who is supposed to take care of the family. And the wife is the supporter of the family. And the children are supposed to be taken care of by both the parents. The husband has to be Krishna conscious. If the husband is not Krishna conscious, then the wife should be Krishna conscious. If the husband is weak spiritually, the wife should be spiritually strong. 
then she can control him. If both of them are weak, it's a disaster. At least one of them should be strong. If the husband is strong and the wife is weak spiritually, then that is fine. The wife can be taken care of, can be lifted up. Now, if the husband is weak and the wife is strong, the wife can control the husband. Now, if both of them are weak, it's finished. Again, repeated birth and death, old age and disease. And the children, the children are not the property of the parents. Mm -mm. They're not yours. They are gifts to you. So you'll take care of them and so that you can bring them up to become Krishna conscious. That is your main responsibility. That's why in Krishna consciousness movement, one should not beget a child if you cannot liberate them. It'll be just like cats and dogs. Naguru, nasisyat. What's that? Nasisya, sisyat. You, one, one should not be a king, one should not be a guru, one should not be a parent if you cannot liberate your subjects. It's a big responsibility. So family life is good if everyone is Krishna conscious. So we try to encourage as much as possible everyone. And the problem here is because the family life means you have to work and uh, to meet the ends, both ends meet, so to speak. Responsibility means you have to pay rent, you have to pay the food, you have to pay this, you have to spend money. So how can you spend money if you don't work? You have to find a job. And then they get caught up and sometimes they're asking Maharaj, how can I do this? How can I balance? Work, work, uh, recreation, sleeping, eating. How can you regulate all of this? How can you balance this? It's not so easy. They get caught up. Sometimes they just wake up uh, just before going to work. Because they go to work early and they come back home late. Sometimes they don't even see their children. Only on the weekends. Hmm? And somebody will take care of their children for them. Babysitting. Oh, baby, uh, what do you call this? There's another word for that. Huh? Yes. Yeah, somebody will take care of your children for you. So where, where is the affection there? Huh? Yeah, it's, 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 it's not so easy. So regulation in family life is a must. Which means that they may not be able to get up early in the morning like we do. 3.30 before Mangal Arctic, right? They should still wake up one and a half hour before sunrise. Whatever that may be, the calculation you can have. Do Mangalarti. Do like a morning program, but in a short, shortcut. Like when we visit in some Agrihasta ashrams, um, the devotees where we stay, they do, they do everything. They get up early in the morning and they're very ideal. But some are caught up. They're not able to do it. So Krishna consciousness has to be established in every householders, those who are grihasas. Otherwise, they're grihamedi. One will, be, one will just be attached to each other. And that attachment will lead one to take birth again next life. The husband becomes attached to the, to the woman, to the wife. Then the husband becomes a woman next life. And as Prabhupada says here, it is not so good. And the, and the wife attached to the, to the husband, then the, then the wife will become 
Amen. Both are equal spirit souls, but physically the woman is the fairer side. Sometimes they're like very sentimental. They're very touchy. You say something and they'll hate you for the rest of your life. Man, sometimes a little stronger. Hmm? It is not that the woman is bad, but they're just... But, Prabhupada says, that when it comes to being religious, women are more religious. When it comes to spiritual gatherings, religious gatherings, women are more in numbers than men. When they take up to spiritual life, they take it so seriously. So, both will get the benefit, husband and wife, if they are Krishna conscious. And luckily in our Krishna consciousness movement, we have many, many ideal grihastas, ideal householders who set good examples for others. And we see that when, especially when they preach. Hmm? When they preach, when they tell others about this knowledge. Otherwise, it is impossible. It is impossible to go back home, back to Godhead. Another life will be wasted. And not just another life, a very important human form of life is being wasted. Because next life, we don't know what we're going to be. Hmm? It's not... We should not take it for granted, this human form of life. It is so special. It's a special gift that somehow or other, either one is in the, either one is in the woman's body or other one is in the man's body. Both should take advantage of this human form of life. Otherwise, it will take so many millions of lifetimes again before one can come to the human form of life and take to the same process that we are having right now. So we have to be enthusiastic all the time to be saved from the cycle of repeated birth and death. Enthusiasm, Prabhupada was once asked, what does enthusiasm mean? How can you become enthusiastic and how you can become, or how can you remain enthusiastic? Prabhupada says, you can be enthusiastic only if you chant in the association of the devotees. It's not possible otherwise. Chanting Japa or chanting in Kirtan. When it comes to Kirtan, you forget everything. You forget the demands of your senses and the mind. You forget your material desires. So if you're always engaged in this chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra in association of the devotees, then, only then, you'll become always enthusiastic. And in that way, you'll remain in Krishna consciousness. So somehow or other, we're still here in Krishna consciousness movement. Prabhupada, in, in Mumbai, there is this uh, president of the Mumbai temple, Madhu Dwis Prabhu. He left his body now. He was uh, complaining to Prabhupada. Prabhupada, these Indians are very tricky because at that time they're constructing the temple. These Indians are very tricky. They're always cheating us. Really? 
Yes, Prabhupada, I quit. I give up. Oh, I am Indian. Am I tricky? No, 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 Sila Prabhupada, you are not tricky. Hmm? No, 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 you did not cheat. You're not cheating us. Sila Prabhupada, well, yes. I trick you. I tricked you. Otherwise, how will you be here? How will you be still chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra? How will you still be reading my books? Actually, I tricked you. Hmm? So we should be so grateful that somehow we continue on with the process of Krishna consciousness. We just have to maintain ourselves not to be attracted by the modes of material nature, not to be attached with this body. There is one way also how to be, not to identify with the body. As Prahlad Maharaj was saying in the seventh canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam, he was being offered benediction or benedictions from uh, Lord Nisimha Hadeb. He says, I don't want anything. He was saying that I am, I am in a position where I have so many material desires, just like being in a well full of snakes. I don't want, um, I don't want anything but only if you will allow me to always remember my spiritual master, Narad Muni, and able to serve him. Prabhupada once says that this Krishna consciousness movement is the only movement in the world that teaches the people how to see God. No one else. No one else is teaching this. But how, do, how can we see God? How we can see Krishna? Of course we see Krishna every day, but we don't have full realization of who is God or who is Krishna. And Prahlad Maharaj says, please give me the privilege to always serve my Guru Maharaj. Because this is the only way I will be able to see the Supreme Lord face to face one day. There is no other way. And Prabhupada says, this is the secret of success in Krishna consciousness. To always eager to serve the spiritual master and the servants of the Supreme Lord who are attached to their spiritual master. Prabhupada says, it is better to serve the servants of the servants of the spiritual master than the spiritual master himself. Krishna says, one, what's that? I, I, I am more happy if my devotees are being served than me. If you serve my devotees, I'm happy, more happy then you serve me directly. Of course, we cannot serve Krishna directly. That is impossible. Unless you're Ananda Maharaj or Gopas or Gopis. They already have their positions. But we can be way, way in the back and serving the devotee and that devotee, serving the other devotee and the other devotee. This is what you call parampara. Disciplic succession. It's not possible to serve directly Krishna. <clears throat> Even the pujaris who are doing Arctic, they're not really doing the Arctic themselves. They're doing it on behalf of their Guru Maharaj. You ask permission. We should not think, oh, I'm a pujari, then I do directly. Oh, I have my deity, so I do. No. You're doing it on behalf of your Guru Maharaj. So if this is our understanding, then someday 
we may be able to also see Krishna and maybe render some direct service to him. But for now, it is not possible. So, in that mood, we should continue on serving our spiritual master, the disciplic succession, the Vaisnavas. And rest assured, Spraupad says, this is the secret of success. Hare Krishna. Any comments or reflections or yes? Haribol. Thank you for lectures. You mentioned Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prahlad Maharaj prayed to the Lord to continue to serve to his spiritual master, but Prahlad Maharaj never seen his spiritual You know what master. serving means? What a service means? Following his instruction. It means... Uh, you, don't, you don't have your Guru Maharaj with you all the time. Very rare. Prabhupada had association with Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur, only a handful. But what is the main instruction of Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur? Whenever you get money, print books. And he took it wholeheartedly. That is what he called service. Service means not just personal. It's not possible also all the time or even one time. If you are a confidential uh, servant, confidential means you're very close. Then you can serve all the time or most of the times. But for others, they never met Prabhupada. Prabhupada says, of all the instructions of the spiritual master to the disciple, the utmost is to chant their prescribed number of rounds. Minimum 16 rounds. So if you chant 16 rounds, Every day, follow the four regulative principles. You are serving your Guru Maharaj. Hmm? Thank you. Serving doesn't mean physical also. That's Bapu. But Vani is more important. The instructions. Jitamitra Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Maharaj. One point is there that uh, King Puranjan is remembering his wife uh, in, as if he is uh, see uh, woman himself. So in the feeling of woman, as being woman, he is thinking his wife. That's why he becomes woman. Yes. But if husband thinks his wife as being husband, then he becomes husband. He becomes just like uh, the Sati, Mother Sati. She left her body. So she is thinking uh, as if she is wife of Lord Shiva and she wants to become wife of Lord Shiva. In she this became Parvati. Uh, yes, yeah. So then she became wife. Mother Archi sure. also left her body. Uh, so he burned herself with Prithu Maharaj and she right. became the wife in Vaikuntha also. The wife of Prithu that Maharaj. Is, that is extraordinary. So Krishna says, yam yam maapismaran bhavam. Yes. What, what vow you are remembering, not yes. the person. So the, in, in bhav, in istri bhav, Puranjana is remembering his wife in istri bhav. Sure. So he becomes istri. But if the, uh, the husband remembers her, uh, his wife in purush bhav, he becomes purush. So this is what bhav, what we bhav. Hope, is we hope that everyone is thinking like that. But I, I, I dare say they don't think that, you know, they never will think that. I will, I will think that I am the husband, I am the master. You will not think even in, this is rare occasions, but this is the ideal one. This is the one that we should try to follow. And this way, then uh, next life you'll get the... Uh, Male body also. <laughs> <laughs>
hopefully, if you take birth again in the, in the human form of life. Yeah. Either one takes birth as a human form of life in man's body or woman's body. The main purpose is to become Krishna conscious. That is the whole idea here. Because it's not, it's not so easy to, to have that, that mood. But you're 100% correct. Yes, we appreciate that. Uh, That's like somebody remembers, uh, develops Gopi Bhav. Yeah. So he remembers Krishna and Gopi Bhav. He becomes Gopi. Yes. Somebody develops Sakha Bhav. So he remembers Krishna and Sakha Bhav. Yeah. He becomes Sakha. Good, like this. Good, good, good. It's the Bhav. But in the meantime, we try to serve our Guru Maharaj and the Vaisnavas. The Vaisnavas who are attached to their Guru Maharaj because that is the success in Krishna consciousness. Hmm? We should just for now be happy as being assistants. Okay? Srila Prabhupada ki! Nitai Gaur Primanande! Hare Krishna.